Hello, today's video is about clinical usage of antibody or therapeutic usage of antibodies. In that, I would talk about Herceptin. Herceptin is one of the good treatments for HER2 positive breast cancer. Herceptin is actually an antibody known as trastuzumab. In this video, I would describe the immunological mechanisms by which HER2 acts upon the breast cancer and how the treatment works. So the incidence of breast cancer is increasing day by day. And if the growth rate of breast cancer is like that, so statisticians predict that almost 47 female would be diagnosed with breast cancer in around 2020. Now if we talk about US population, every one in eight women is affected by breast cancer or is in a high risk of getting affected by the breast cancer. So breast cancer is increasing day by day and who published a map of the most risk zone where breast cancer is prevalent. A huge amount of US population, Australia and a large part of Asia and Europe is affected by this kind of increased risk of breast cancer. So normal breast cell for its normal growth and development and division has a receptor known as human epidermal growth factor receptor or HAR. So HAR has different families, HAR1, HAR2, HAR3, etc, etc. One of them is HAR2. HAR2 receptors are present on the normal cells. There are about 20,000 in number in a normal breast cell. But in case of a breast cancer, which is HAR2 positive, the number of HAR2 receptor on the cell surface increases dramatically. This cancer could also occur due to a duplication in the HAR2 gene which is ERBB2. Now we would look at the mechanism in detail. So here it how it works. So HAR2 is a receptor present on the membrane of the cell surface. And it's a epidermal growth factor receptor. So whenever growth factor binds to it, the receptor internal cytoplasmic domain gets phosphorylated. Now the phosphorylated receptor is docking site for several molecules. One example is GRB2, which is growth factor binding a protein 2. Now GRB2 or PI3 kinase get activated with the phosphorylated receptor. Now PI3K can actually trigger the signaling cascade, which is known as mTOR pathway. Now mTOR pathway is one of the most important growth pathways in the body. Now mTOR pathway ultimately would activate the molecular players which regulate translation. It would ultimately help in the anabolic processes or growth. Another bona fide pathway for growth and development and, and division of the cells in the body is MAP kinase pathway. Now this activated receptor can ultimately activate the signaling cascade of MAP kinase pathway. And MAP kinase pathway regulates multiple genes including cyclin D1 which helps in cell division and thereby cellular proliferation. Also other, pro other anti apoptotic genes like PCL2, BCLXL is a downstream product of this MAP kinase pathway. So thereby normally these pathway in a breast cell allow that the breast cell would develop normally and proliferate. But what happens in the cancer, in the breast cancer is the number of receptors on the cell surface dramatically increase from 20,000 to about 22 million. Now it could occur due to increased transcription from that gene or it could occur due to increased transport of the receptor or maybe the receptor is so stable that it doesn't get turned over in a normal rate. So whatever may be the reason, the surface expression of the receptor dramatically increases. Cell surface expresses a huge amount of receptor. As a result, huge amount of signaling is happening through, the, through this receptor. So mTOR pathway and MAP kinase pathways output is increasing several hundred folds, which ultimately leads to uncontrolled growth pathway. Even if these pathways are important growth regulator pathway in normal cases, but these pathways when goes wrong or when are hyperactivated, 
result in uncontrolled growth. Now the treatment of this is Herceptin, which is an antibody which binds to these HER2 receptors. Now Herceptin binds to the HER2 receptors and interfere with the signaling processes. So the signaling now becomes weakened and the output of the signal is less. So uncontrolled growth is kind of prohibited. Now, not only it interferes with signaling, it does another important thing, which is kind of very intuitive. So many of the cells in the immune system has FC receptor, which is targeted against the FC region of this antibody. One, of, one such cell is natural killer cell, which are the super duper killers in the immune system. So the NK cells are like specific, specific bomber airstrikes. So what happens is, here are some soldiers who looked at some enemy vehicles. So one of the, one of the option what they can do is directly attack. But what they do intellectually, they send out the coordinates and bring about an airstrike, which allow the destruction of the enemy vehicles. It's a clever strategy. Now the NK cells are actually the bomber planes. So here the antibodies are marking the territory or marking the particular coordinates which, uh, of which tumor cell to be destructed. So NK cell quickly bind to that antibody via its FC receptor and NK cell secretes secretory granules filled up with granzymes and porphyrins and thereby this tumor cell undergoes apoptosis or programmed cell death. That is how trastuzumab or Herceptin kills a breast cancer cell. Now not only trastuzumab, there are other antibodies as well, which could be used as uh, therapeutics. For example, rituximab, which is also used for several types of cancer and autoimmune diseases. Another is omeluzumab. Omeluzumab is an anti-inflammatory molecule, which binds to the FC region of IgE antibody and prevent the IgE antibody to bind to mast cell and degranulate, degranulating of the mast cell and thereby save the body from hyper, hyperactive inflammatory responses. So this is how antibody could be used in the field of medicine for several therapeutic and several treatments. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my video, give it a quick thumbs up. You can help me by sharing this video among your friends and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for listening.